And here we are again for the Saturday wrap. It's a new month. We got rid of January and February is along and it's looking very similar so far. Bit of frost this morning. Oh, by the way, Saturday wrap, 5th of February 2022. There's rugby on, so... Yeah, pubs will be full of rugby fans and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, well, I've got two Beano's planned for next week. So, uh, yeah, training. Uh, there is a beer, Thicket, by Ridgeside. 4.5% alcohol by volume. A raspberry sour, B plus and a bit. From Sainsbury's. It's nice. Gently sour, so if you're new to sours, eh, give it a try. Anyway, yeah, a lot of things this week. A lot of politics, a lot of economics, a little bit of health, yeah, and maybe a little bit of tech as well. Anyway, um, so this is what happened over the last week. Sunday. There's no food in the house, which is an oversight. So what happens when there's no food in the house? Well, you search the freezer. And there was a chicken dinner frozen from Aldi. So seven minutes, put it in the microwave, uh, took it out. It's still cold. It was on minimal defrost. Put it back in. Maximum eight minutes. Still frosty. Microwave failure. This is where, well, this is where Amazon comes in. Um, yeah, I've had it for ages and whatever, and straight away and ordered a new one. So, surprisingly, my app of the week is the Amazon app. Not because I used it to order, and I did use a smile.amazon.co.uk, which is you can give a certain fee of what you buy to charities. Um, mine is to Newark um, Aircraft Museum in Newark. I think it's Lincolnshire. Really, really good if you're up there. I remember going there in March, and it snowed overnight. They have a Vulcan, a real-life Vulcan. Uh, unfortunately, not airworthy. Um, so, yeah, the Amazon app. What I like about it is it pops up and says, your parcel is, well, usually it's eight stops away. This one had four stops away, and I could tell where it was. And um, again, I say hats off to the delivery drivers because they have tons of work to do, and they are really friendly and i always like to give them a little compliment the app pops up and says what do you think of the delivery and it was a thumbs up and delivered on time <laughs> actually it said it was going to come at 10 o'clock at night which if you know me well past my bedtime it did arrive at half two uh, a touch of working from home at the same time as well yeah so um app of the week the amazon app and uh, not a microwave app although you can get microwaves you can get ovens that are controlled by apps as well but yeah defrosting food and such like is about as far as i actually go hmm word or phrase of the week i was thinking of boris johnson but he seems to be hanging on the word or phrase of the week is price cap gas prices are through the roof absolutely and completely through the roof and i think it's they'll go up by an average of 693 pounds when the new price cap comes in in april and also in april um my broadband goes up it's one of these contracts which is rpi plus 3.9 percent they annoy me intensely i'm not getting rpi plus 3.9 percent and it just makes me worse off and everyone's worse off and what exactly are they doing with the money uh, and with Plusnet, which is part of bt uh, who also own own ee annoying um thing of the week mac dodo 
or Dudu. I'm not altogether sure which. Uh, it's Chinese. Um, I was reading a Verge article, theverge.com, and it was about their new favourite cables. And these are cables that at one end are USB-C, and they have a little electricity meter on them, uh, calibrated in watts, and it tells you how fast your device is charging. They do USB-C to C, which I got, and USB-A to C as well. They're really rather excellent. Of course, you don't need them, but if you're into tech, which I am, they're awesome, really awesome. And they come under all different names. They're all from China, but MacDoodoo, which made me chuckle. Anyway, um, back to the thing about 5G in bed was, I think it was Monday or was it Tuesday? I can't even remember. I had 5G in my bedroom. Next day, I had 3G in my bedroom, which was strange because it's usually 4G. I think it is testing. Come on, 3UK, get your act together. Um, you've been good to your employees, giving them wage rises and all that sort of stuff, but um, Bedwars needs 5G. Really does. Actually, whole place needs 5G, but what can you do? So, Monday, I had Monday off. An emergency beano into Panath. My bus was late. Although the bus driver drove like a crazy to get back in time, but um, it arrived late. Um, the train was late. You cannot trust public transport. It's all subsidised by, oh yeah, taxpayers. But they can't run on time. Okay, so this time, both of them not running on time made it good for me, but, uh, you know... Public transport, as I've said before, not really run for the public, not really integrated. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, in Wales, railways are nationalised. Makes no difference. In fact, pretty much worse. Um, and then, oh, yeah, Panath. Ended up in the Golden Lion, which if you're looking for a backstreet boozer with great craft ales... Well, okay, Heineken based ones. Um, but they really do a good job on um, Cascales. They come under the same people as the um, Pen and Wig in Newport. Um, I was sitting in there listening to the jukebox. Interestingly, Barbie Girl, Shine On You Crazy Diamond, and then some live Joe Bonamassa. You can't beat it. And then Sue Gray. Hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of people have been fined. Um, but a lot of it was redacted as well. Um, open and transparent, they work for us. Not really, to be perfectly honest, at all. But, you know, politics and such like. Um, right, I told you about my microwave. Um, the next day dentist after probably about two and a half years and um, my dentist retiring and I've got a new dentist who's quite local to be perfectly honest and I also to be perfectly honest very good um you had to do that sort of quiz at the beginning and uh, which toothpaste do you use um Tesco's value because which said it? it's fluoride and it's got all you need and don't pay any more also use um, Aldi value as well because similar sort of thing came away with a free tube well travel tube of Colgate toothpaste because I was a very good boy apparently and um, it was a bit a bit of a shock they go through the quiz and are you on any medication no dentist said lady dentist they seem to be better i shouldn't say that but they are um no i'm not on any medication she said oh that's interesting because most people of kafili of your age have a list as long as your arm to which i replied i'm from bedwars hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway um under my last dentist it was every 12 months um i think this is under the welsh government's authority it's now every 18 months but my teeth are fine 
It was a little bit of um, fluoride thing on the bottom of one tooth that they put on. She put on um, because I'd overbrushed them. Electric, by the way. I like electric toothbrushes. Um, so that was good news. Mm. Uh, make an appointment in a year for another six months. Um, sidecar. If you have a Mac and an iPad, then you can get the iPad to be a second screen for your Mac. I used to have a thing called Duet Display, which did the same sort of thing, which I paid for. When I came to use it, they'd updated it, and you now had to have a subscription. So I deleted it. Uh, I could never get it to work over Wi-Fi. I wanted it to work over cable. Couldn't get that to work. In the week, I found an article about how to get it to work. It works a treat now. And um, when I'm going away next week, uh, that's what I will be doing. I'll actually have three displays. Um, Windows, Mac, and a second Mac screen, which is an iPad, which will probably have TweetDeck on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Um, uh, prices? Yeah, well, everything's up. Um, we're still not sure about here in Wales. Apparently, I think it was 170 or 179 million given to Wales to help with gas price increases. All gone rather quiet here in Wales. Hmm. Usually I like to preempt Boris, but uh, not in this case. Um, I don't know. Perhaps they're all down the pub, or perhaps today they're all watching the rugby. Hmm. Not impressed. Not impressed by anything at the moment, to be perfectly honest. And talking of not impressed, the Winter Olympics, the IOC. Yeah, if you go there, you've got to have their app on your phone because that's the only way you can get around, and it's COVID. It's full of spyware, by the way. I haven't got a lot of time for the Olympics now. I know a lot of people spend a lot of time and effort trying to win at it and all that sort of stuff, but nah, not really. Not with the way things are. And lastly... Okay, so next week um, is the Pelican for three nights. Not actually in the Pelican, but drinking in the Pelican. And the next two nights, we're going to be Stroud for the Stroud Brewery. And I went to book it, and it's completely booked out. I should have realised it's February. The weather's slightly better. It's quite mild, actually. And, you know, it's a nice place to go to. So the next place on my list was Kidderminster. So... Two nights in Kidderminster, which I am looking forward to. It's somewhere new, and it's part of my New Year's resolution. Go new places, experience new things, drink fine ales. And that's it for the week. There was an overnight frost, and then it rained and became rather slippy. <laughs> it's still bleak mid winter and you gotta be careful with february because during the uh, normally at the end of the month you tend to have snow i'd rather have what's that thing i saw full spring anyway comments etc bye bye and um i'll probably see you mid next week with a prelude to mb02 2022